All right, so the other way that I like to wrap these, uh, the version that I like to use is I'm actually using twice as much length actually because I double up the, um, I put a bite or a loop into the 550 cord and I um, put a knot in one end just, just to keep them even like so. So I'm gonna do that and then what I do here to make sure that they're even is then I um, do the same thing except I start and I just put a loop through here like so and then I'm going to wrap this around in this particular instance counterclockwise I'm wrapping around and I'm putting it through upwards the last my last loop and then I'm gonna go back counterclockwise so what's happening here the key thing is to keep these from twisting on themselves so you want these strands to be loose right or not loose you want them to be on top of each other is what I meant to say so now I'm gonna go back around counterclockwise and I want to come up underneath with the two strands make sure that they're not overlapping each other or crisscrossing each other and now I want to go back the other way and in this particular instance they did so I'm gonna just straighten that out before I continue on otherwise it won't look good it'll look messy and then I go back this time instance I'm going back counterclockwise and then I'm going to grab these up here and I'm gonna go back the other way so this time clockwise and I'm gonna just go up I have a short length of this 550 cord for for this demo specifically because I'm not trying to do the whole length you know a, a big long piece I'm just doing a short piece just to show how I like to do this so we start to get this kind of pattern going on okay. and then I'm gonna go back the other way and again make sure that this is pulling up underneath and that the strands are on stacking on top of each other and not crisscrossing on top of each other all the way around and then I go back the other way and <clears throat> pull this up and cinch these and make sure they look pretty they're gonna stack just lay them down if they want to stack okay and then to kind of finish off because if I go around one more time so the length is going to be too short so just to show you that's just you know I could go all the way down for however long my strand is but I'm gonna go ahead and undo these this knot here and I'll show you kind of how I finish this off again it, it's more rough and tumble than it is in the other um, uh, the other version so I can just uh, crisscross these behind each other and then what I want to do is I want the, I want to tuck I'm going to tuck this one down like so and make sure that that lands and then this one I'm going to tuck upwards on this side hopefully you can see up through on each other and then I go ahead and I just do a regular kind of a tie kind of an overhand knot and then maybe another overhand knot like that now these are synthetic fibers so they don't knot very well they don't stay secure very well which is a good thing in this particular instance because when I'm ready to use this cordage all I have to do is unknot it right so I can attach some additional bells I can tie these together um, I continue to continue to knot these so that they um, create kind of a decorative chain um, like so um, so again it's kind of it's rustic it's loose it's 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 quick uh, and I you know, again that's my phrase quick and dirty um, but it'll hold and it'll stay and I'll be always be able to have access to the cordage that's wrapped to my walking stick or my stick when I need it quickly so that's just my way of doing it
you'll probably come up with your own.